We all know that it takes more than just a new coat of paint and new plumbing to transform an old home from this into this. But for years it has been difficult and expensive for homeowners to buy older homes and renovate them to be more efficient and environmentally friendly. But companies such as Remax have joined the eco movement and are offering environmentally concerned customers with eco options. Phil Spolstra is London's first eco agent, a real estate agent who specializes in helping customers buy old homes and upgrade them to be greener. My passions involve, you know, fishing, canoeing, hiking, just a lot of outdoors stuff. And, um, and so I thought, well, you know, why not diversify myself a little bit and become a, a green agent? Phil helps to reduce his clients' costs through government grants, which save them thousands on their renovations and in their pockets. Uh, keep their bills very low in the month and, uh, and just, yeah, I guess, cause a lighter footprint. One of his recent projects is located at 99 Stanley Street, and he has put a lot of work into it. And as you can see, the cupboards are not uh, IKEA. What we did was we took the existing cupboards and just restored them with an environmentally friendly paint, Energy Star appliances. The windows themselves are, are kind of a low R value, so that's a point where you're going to lose efficiency in the home. So these are actually, they're made with, uh, with green materials as well, and then the honeycomb um, design that they're, uh, that they're created in uh, provides some, some further R value to just, I guess, uh, create some more efficiency for the, for the heating and cooling of the building. So, and then uh, all your lighting is high efficiency lighting to reduce the energy consumption. He also installed low-flow sinks and toilets. But are other contractors buying into the hype of eco-renovations? There are developing criteria, right, for how um, people go about making, you know, a green building greener and, um, you know, sorting out a lot of the hype and uh, all the good ideas that you hear uh, need to be evaluated carefully. After all, um, when we think of the future world 25 years from now, most of the buildings that will be there using energy already exist right now. And this is good news for Phil and his eco-business. For Western Journalism, I'm James Jackson.